going into one of the uh, small booths. So there's a small kind of vocal booth in here. Um, put some cool bass amps or whatever, some great gear here. You can actually see into another booth over there, which has an amazing view. So I'm going to just go through there and I apologize for the the home recording style video, but uh, let's go into this booth here. So this is where the most of the vocals get done. And you can see what a killer view that would be doing vocals. I've had all sorts of people here. I know Justin Bieber's been in this very room. Go into the, actually the large recording area uh, where the drums record. Yeah, they've got loads of cool gear here actually, nice drum kits. What's really cool about this room is you can see it's got these um, sort of very typical Greek ceilings and um, the reverb in here is awesome. It's really controlled, not too massive. Um, once again, has that uh, amazing view. And uh, there's that bad boy in there. Yeah, so nice chill out area at the back and you can see it kind of drops down to expose this amazing SSL 9000 J series. It's an 80 channel desk. Um, Costas, the studio owner and manager, has um, a lo loads of different speakers. So um, if you're traveling to Santorini, you don't have to try and get some in. This is probably one of the reasons why I love the studio as well. They also have a TG1, uh, which actually Costas bought after I bought mine here last time. Yeah, so some nice ADL labs, um, tube compressors, uh, cool Eventide Orbital Harmonizer there. You are getting some great distortion sounds out of that. But yeah, I mean honestly, it's, a, it's, it's an incredible studio, it's an amazing place to be. And you know, the Greek are very, very hospitable, hospi they're good at basically feeding you. <laughs> so there's not a day that goes by where I wouldn't be having maybe a three or four hour lunch or dinner. Um, so yeah, really cool uh, place here, come visit it, it's well worth it.